We're pretty far from answering the big questions of reality. There are a lot of deep mysteries, but what's wonderful is that generation upon generation, we see progress. We want to understand not just how we came to be here, we want to understand, is there some meaning? Is there some purpose? How do we understand this fundamental religious impulse? How do I grow up to be the person that I'll be proud of and who can, you know, be a positive influence on other people? Socrates said the unexamined life is not worth living. Do we really pursue something deep and thoughtful, or do we just go through the motions of life? My grandfather created the John Templeton Foundation in 1987. The mission of the John Templeton Foundation is to fund academic research and civil dialogue about the biggest, most perplexing questions to humankind. We do not have the answers to the questions that we're asking. Instead, we are interested in finding grantees and project leaders who are asking the same questions, who are interested in the exploration. And we believe that the best way to make an impact is to focus on a few key projects that will help us target innovative areas of research where we can invest significant sums and hope to answer big questions or see where the new questions might lie. Psychology, the field that has been long interested in learning, in biology, the field that has been long interested in inheritance should really get together, and in cultural evolutionary studies is where they could get together. Our bet is that the scientific method, getting great scientists who study gratitude, who study kindness and curiosity, who study things like grit, these scientists could pair with educators and parents. They could combine their perspectives and get to a better solution. One of the pieces of my work is showing that the practices associated with what we might call prayer in a different context actually help people who struggle with mental illness. The ancients were obsessed with this idea of wisdom and pursuing wisdom. Philosophy included theology, it included natural science, it included mathematics. These were all branches of philosophia. One of the things about our civilization is that our science is divorced from wisdom. We are living in this political climate where we're perceived as, as an either or, us versus them, yes versus no mentality. Imagine if when we have disagreements, those conversations actually move us forward. Is it possible for new research to challenge our assumptions in a way that's productive and in a way that allows us to engage effectively with those who think differently than us? We are trying to pursue the big questions, the big mysteries of reality, to so sort of view it as a book with many chapters. I'm pretty good on the science chapter, right? But the other chapters are so rich and varied that it's wonderful for me to engage with people who spent their lives thinking about those chapters, reading those chapters, writing those chapters. The only way that we can cultivate our faculties of reason is to have the humility to recognize that our first impulsive, passionate opinions may be wrong. And only by thoughtful, respectful, civil deliberation with our fellow citizens can we ultimately come to know the light and the truth. We at the John Templeton Foundation think that if you bring the scientists and the kinds of questions that they're asking together with the methodologies of theology and philosophy, then we will contribute to human advancement in a way that is unparalleled. <laughs>